Today, we're gonna to be reviewing a pair of headphones, but you all know here on the Techni channel, when we're talking about headphones, our core review is, are they good for gaming? But of course, we do test them in multiple different areas, as far as video, video editing, watching videos, and then, of course, listening to music. And the headphone we're talking about today is the tried and true Hi-Fi Man Sundaras. Now, you all know where we have to start. We have to start with the comfort and the build. And just looking at this headset just straight out of the box in the hand, the build, you feel like you have an incredibly premium product in your hand. Everything around it is metal. Now this little bracket right here is actually plastic, but it goes into metal, metal over here, feels incredibly premium. Talking about that, again, while we're talking on comfort, being premium, how much does it weigh? Put it on a scale here. Of course, our wire is detached, but we are gonna get 384 grams. But now taking a look at the ear pads, as you can see, they are quite big. They are pretty much a full circle, but you see plenty big as far as the depth, plenty of depth, your ears are not touching the drivers in there. Now, one thing I want you to really look close at are these ear pads. So you're taking a look at them a little bit bigger here and they slope down and you get a little smaller right there. And we have seen that in multiple headphones before, right where they slope forward. And the reason being what that's helping is with this lack of swivel. I mean, there's none here, less than like bare dynamic, less than HyperX or anything like that, right? But when you put these on your head, they definitely, again, the ear pads help it slope forward. If they were, again, thick in the back and thick in the front, they'd be like this, I'd be getting that pressure right there and it would just be unbearable. But with that slope, that ear pad just kind of cutting down a little bit right there, it prevents that. So again, it's just balanced out perfect. Now, as far as adjustment, you do have your headband up here, which is very nice and wide. As you see how big that is, let me go and get a quick measurement for you. You can see right at about two inches, a little bit more if you can see it in the video. And it's really nice because it's so thick and big that it's gonna wrap around your head rather than being a small, tiny headband just pressing down. It definitely engulfs the top of your head and just sits there very comfortably. As far as adjustment, it is on these clicky brackets on the side and it holds its position really nice. Again, these forks are metal and then your ear cups, of course, go in and out because that's where your 3.5 connect right on the bottom. And as far as the core build, I really don't get worried with this pair of headphones. I mean, it is incredibly solid. Now you can't stretch it out further than this because the uh, headband tightens up. It's kind of locked in right there, but I don't think any of us are going to be pulling it more than that. You're going to have a pretty stinking big head. But when we compile all that, as far as the comfort, the build and everything, can I say it's stinking cozy, right? Th this is this is where it throws me off. Like it's very comfortable. It doesn't annoy me. The clamping force is incredibly light. As you see, just moving right there. No, I don't game with the head uh, hat on, but whenever you get it right there, let me make it a little bit smaller. And I put it on, it's almost primarily resting on that headband up there. I can make these guys a little bit smaller also. Again, it's a big pair of headphones. But anyways, again, it's primarily resting on the headband. And that's why I stated with that thicker headband, I don't feel it pressing in one spot or there's a lot of pressure here, here, or here. Cause again, it's so big and it's really wrapping around my head but I don't have any pressure pressing right here. It feels like it's just setting down in my head. I would put it on that borderline of stinking cozy. You know, I, it's tough. I, I wanna say it's stinking cozy. It's, it's like right here to stinking cozy. Ah, heck, you know what? I'm saying they're stinking cozy. All right, hold up guys. I gotta I got get a mouse pad up here. I am scratching the heck out of my table talking about the build uh, and touch on it right there. Uh, you got that metal coming out and everything. So if you're sitting down on your desk, I mean, it's just got these scratches like, uh, that's a bit of a stinker. So watch out for that right there. But anyways, let's go on and talk about the sound. And again, everything we just talked about numbers, they're just numbers. Let's talk about my time actually using them and dabble with them. And as you can see, these are open back headphones. A lot of you are probably saying, yo, technically you hate open back headphones. It's not that I hate open back headphones. It's number one, I think they're misrepresented as far as the competitive advantage you get, which I think is hocus pocus. But number two, more importantly, is I just can't use them that often in my household, right? And that's very prominent with these. The sound is bleeding out, the sound is coming in. My family said it sounded like I was gaming with speakers, you know, not even at night, even during the day when you're watching a show, they're like, yo, can you turn it down? I don't know, maybe I play my stuff too loud. But again, that sound really bled out big time with these. But talking about my experience with the sound on these testing on Series X, the PS5, the PC, and the Mac, playing games, music, videos, everything, to the core, I had a great experience. But talking about that, right, the games I'm playing, Destiny, Halo, uh, what is it, Ghost Recon Wildlands, getting really back into that, playing it more like realistic style. What, what a stinging blast, right? Of course, Forza, Hot Wheels DLC, and then Uncharted. Just so you got an example of what kind of games I'm playing, right? Different uh, varieties, right? The different situations. 
And talking about this pair of headphones, it worked so good across every game or situation, whether it be videos, music, different genres and everything. Of course, Jack White, uh, Swollen Members are my two primaries right now. Um, but of course, across all those games, the dialogue was crispy. The highs were very potent, but they weren't piercing. They weren't bare dynamic type of highs, you know, but you had them there. It was really nice. Uh, the back end bass, like that low end right there, it was there, but it wasn't constant. You know, the wind didn't sound muffled and heavy. You know what I mean? You got that grenade or that gunshot right there, that footstep even in Halo, which you don't get in open backs a lot. It kind of hits and it's gone. You know what I mean? But I really was able to kind of hold on to it. Was it as locked in as I'd prefer, like a closed back in Halo, something like that? No, but going over to something like Wildlands, what I always state open backs are beneficial in is that open world environmental world right there. It's just so detailed. You hear the rain falling down, you hear the vehicles, you hear the chatter off in the distance, you know? It was fantastic. It really was, and that's where I had the most fun is in Ghostland, uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands right there with that whole environment, the, so many different sounds going on. It felt open, right? It, it felt like you were within that environment, which is like I always state is the advantage you get with open back over a competitive advantage. Now, even going over to Forza, it was great because you think, uh, sometimes you think like when I say potent highs, like ah, I don't want those wheels squealing and all that stuff. Now you got that, you got that turbo popping and spooling up there and everything, you know what I mean? But you still had that back end body of the vehicle where, where it really felt like you're in a car. A again, where I put it, you're probably thinking like, well, it sounded like a flat sound and it's not. Don't think about it like a flat sound. Think about it up here. It's like a uh, this balance sound, but boosted up quite a bit, you know what I mean? And, and it's doing so much pure, natural, with some oomph in the background. That, that's exactly what you got right here, you know what I mean? And it was it was a great experience. Like, again, I go back to Wildlands, and that's where I had the most fun with this, but it was great across everything. The dialogue, again, was great. The back-end detail, I felt like I had enough immersion, not too much, but enough. You know, a, a great example of the core sound, even though these did sound better, but think about the old Arctic's Pros. That's a very similar type of sound signature you had right here as far as the core. Definitely more prominent in the highs right there. A little bit of that back end bass, but still very nice and detailed. That's what I had right here. Of course, I had a lot more over here with these, you know what I mean? But at the core, that's a great example, to be honest, these compared to the old Arctic Pros. Now, I want to pull out a few other headphones or headsets that I use a lot for gaming and kind of give you some examples compared to these. I really want to wrap this up and hopefully help you out because I had such a good time with these, right? So, number one, my Meze 99 Neos. You all know I love this pair of headphones. It's just, it's just great all around. Go watch the review. It's definitely a hidden gem right there. As far as the sound, the Mezes are as clear as day, more bass than the Sundaras right here. Not heavy bass, not thumpy bass or anything, but you have more of that immersion. If you want that, like Destiny, for example, I'd probably go to this for Destiny. Not saying this was bad, but I want to be enthralled into the thrall. You know what I mean? But again, I still had a great experience with all of them, but I would class this more as immersive. Is that because it's closed back? I don't think so. Again, you got your uh, planter magnetics over here and everything. Then you got that driver pumping over here. So again, immersion, you're going to get that over here. These would be geared a little bit more towards, I don't want to say there's more highs because you have nice highs right here. But again, everything's kind of just right here. When over here, you got more bass and then it's going to roll around. Right, very fun headphone. Again, more bass over there. Let's talk about the VZR Model 1s compared to these. I think they're the same price too, right? 300, 300. The VZRs, clear as day, as I stated in my review or my detailed sound talk, a lot of bass in these bad boys. A lot of bass. And when I was doing my test and I'm going from these and putting these on, I'm like, holy smokes. It is that crazy how much extra bass there is within these guys. And again, I kind of put that in a class of like destiny. You know what I mean? That, that's kind of where I have this where it's just full and impactful and right in there. It's just such a fun headphone. That's what this is. It's something different. It's kind of hard to even compare it to anything else. It's just such a fun, uh, interesting product and different. Now, let's go on and talk about these, the new Arctic's Nova Pros. I've been using these a lot in the background, even when testing other things. I'm going to be doing a uh, final impressions, just to let you know how they're holding up and how they're really performing afterwards. These are very similar. As you, as you heard me when I was talking about the sound of these, they sound more like the old Arctic's Pros, because these have more bass than the old Arctic's Pros. 
So similar, I definitely should have pulled out my other Arctic Pros, you know what I mean? But I would say if you like this sound, you're gonna like this sound over here. I would really put it that way. These have a little bit more body into it, not as much clarity as the Sundars. The Sundars have definitely got more environment sound in there, definitely a lot more potent, uh, a lot more open, not just because the open back, but also because your plantar magnetics. And then again, just everything just breathing out there. It was just so fun for an environmental sound. Planar magnetic to planar magnetic, guys. Odd easy. Massive price difference here. Massive price difference. You all know I'm a big Odd easy fan as well. I just think and love them. They do planar magnetics fantastic. And it's just the low and the high and everything's just put right where I want it. I really do. This is a little more... Uh, you know, I don't want you to take this as open to close, right? I mean, I've tested plenty of Audi Easy Opens, but I primarily used my clothes. That's why I have these out here. You definitely can get a little bit more open environmental sound, even compared to some other Audi Easy Open backs, you know? These are definitely a little more light sounding. Is that a good term right there? Airy? A little more breathable? You know what I mean? And I'm not just talking open back to close back. That's not what I'm talking about right here. I would say maybe putting an easier is the Audi Easy just has that background punch that really just gets a hold of you every time. And that's again something I love about Audi Easy. They're doing the highs, they're doing their lows and everything, and it's impactful and full. That's why I love them. It does everything right. These guys, again, they're going to be a little lighter, maybe a little focused more on the detail because that bass isn't prominent every single time. The highs are just very crispy. And when we compare all of these, as you're catching my drift here, what I even stated when we were talking about the sound of the Sundaras is it's just such a nice, balanced, natural, pure sound across the board. And to top it all off, as you've probably caught through the video, the price tag on these guys, and I'm going to say this lightly here, they come in at only 300 bucks. Only? What are you talking about, man? That's still pretty pricey. But when you look at the package you're getting, from the build to the construction to the premium product right here, the comfort, the amazing sound, you have a complete product right here. And at 300 bucks in this class, I think you're going to be pretty hard pressed to find something in this headphone space that's going to be so versatile. Music, videos, gaming, all classes of gaming, not just good for FPS or not just good for that. I think you're really going to have a, a good experience right here and your $300 is going to be well spent. The Hi-Fi Man Sandars get a complete win.